Hey, Snap Flash fam, big news from Botswana. The country is about to make math history by hosting the Pan-African Mathematics Olympiad for the very first time. It's a celebration of brains, numbers, and African brilliance. Let's break it down. Imagine competing against the best math minds from 23 countries for nine hours. Well, that's exactly what's happening in Gaborone this week. But PAMO 2025 isn't just about solving equations. It's about rewriting the future of African education. Want to know how? Stick around. Before we dive deeper, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and smash the notification bell so you never miss an update from Snap Flash, Africa's leading spotlight on what really matters. From June 8th to 18th, Botswana hosts PAMO 2025, the Pan-African Mathematics Olympiad, a high-stakes, high-IQ battle of minds featuring over 250 participants from 23 African nations. It's Africa's biggest math showdown for high schoolers under 20. Students tackle six super tough problems in four and a half hour sessions across two days. Think you're good at math? Well, these students are solving problems not even on the syllabus. This is next level logic and reasoning. Six top students, three boys and three girls, will represent Botswana, selected from 18 finalists. The event champions gender equality, proving that math is for everyone. PAMO isn't just a contest. It's a movement. The Mathematics Association of Botswana is using this moment to launch a national shift from old-school OBE teaching to steam-powered learning, where science and tech meet real-world math. Uh, when we are talking mathematics now, we, 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 we become converted. We are converts now. Uh, but before that, let me introduce the team that is with, with me. I have the treasurer of the association, with me, Ma Patlakwe. Hi. And then on my right, I have the member of the IT committee team and the academic committee. Um, then far left, I have uh, Mr. Posey in the marketing and also the host uh, from New Era College. And I have, uh, she introduced herself, Madam uh, Lazio Robert for marketing. And then we have Ma Amo Kupudi. Uh, for is the vice president, is the one responsible for the contest and everything. She she is the one who has gathered us here. So thank you very much. I don't know whether some are not here present with us, but we have about uh, we are about 15 uh, in a local organizing committee, and in total we are 40 organizing this event. So having said that, let me take you through the process or share with you uh, what is Pamu Pamu. Uh, it's Pan African Mathematics Olympiad. This is a, a contest which is for under 20 students or kids. Uh, it's an event which is uh, run annually. Uh, it was started um, around 1979, if I'm not mistaken, in Morocco. Uh, it has been running for all those years up to now. So we, it is hosted uh, in different countries, and then it happened that this time around. It's us who are hosting the event. So it is gender sensitive. Um, the team, we have six students, uh, three boys and three girls. So we are giving each and every kid or each gender equal opportunity. Um, like that thing, most of the time we find that uh, this mess uh, is a field for male, but we want to break that myth that the mess is for us all. Um, so that is the kind of a commission that we are heading to. So it has, um, it is conducted in two days, where the first day they write three questions uh, for four hours, 30 minutes. And then the second day they write another three questions for four hours, 30 minutes again. So they, after that, we combine their marks and then we check the overall winner. But we are seeing that six questions, we find that if you can score one or get seven marks, you have what you call an honorary mention. So these questions or this mathematics is not syllabus based. It's just a high level of mathematics which checks the IQ of our students. So what we know or what we have is that whenever a student can get a score of seven out of seven or get all these questions correct, that means uh, that kid is highly um, very intelligent. Whether it's at form two or form one, he or she qualifies to go to any university you can name it. So. Uh, in mathematics, you say if you're intelligent, we don't measure you by standard or form one or form two or form three. 
we measure you by what we have. So uh, having said that, you will realize that this is a platform for our kids here. Uh, if they can achieve what I've, I've just said, they have an opportunity um, to go to other places like uh, Harvard, or Brown University. We'll be having the scouts around here, and those scouts will be looking at our kids. These 18 kids here that we've assembled, uh, our, our scouts will be looking at them. There are some scouts from Rwanda who have a school that is dealing with only mathematics concept. So they want to recruit about 30 Barcelona students to go there with a full, full, uh, full scholarship to go there and study maths. And when they are done with their maths uh, at Form 5 level, they are right and then maybe they find another scholarship for them outside. That's what they are doing, program for African kids. So currently they are coming here for our own kids. They, are, they will be focusing on Botswana only, the 30 Botswana uh, students. So it's an opportunity for them. So we have in 22 countries um, from all over Africa. Most of them are from, uh, let me say just the whole of Africa, uh, the likes of Tunisia, Morocco, Ivory Coast, Ghana, Cameroon, Cote d'Ivoire, Senegal, Mali, uh, Kenya, the Tanzania, Mauritania, South Africa, uh, the whole of SADC except Angola, they will be here. So we are expecting around 167 students uh, to converge in one place and write mathematics in two days for nine hours in total. So that is the highlight of our contest, um, which is um, very entertaining. And we assume it's open. Uh, there are some teams that can register unofficial, which we are going to do by giving these 12 students, the excellent 12 students that we are having here, they are going to write to, whether they are doing form one or form two, they are going to be given an opportunity to write. If they do well, they get an opportunity, same as those who have been selected as a team Botswana. So, um, with that, I should think I've shared enough about PAMU, and uh, let me announce that next year it will be hosted in Ivory Coast. So that means this team which is here, um, they stand a better chance to go to Ivory Coast next year. Um, uh, we thank God that they are here, they have been trained, so we are, we are going to intensify that till next year when they are participating in Ivory Coast. Um, as usual, we are pleading for your support and the support for you from the country. Everybody who is willing to assist and help this uh, country here, or this team here, we are here. And uh, I would like to appreciate even our sponsors too. We have uh, what we call Jet Street, um, we have um, Global Talent, from USA, Gen Street is from UK, and then we have Macmillan, Botswana. We have uh, New Era College, which has sponsored us with this venue. We are doing everything here in this venue, the meetings and everything, we are always here. And uh, we have uh, a quarantine, which is over as accommodation. We have uh, Cresta Lodge, which is over accommodation too, to our visitors. And then we have um, Indaba, which has offered also the accommodation, and we have Royal Area where we'll be hosting our closing and opening ceremony. So we expect Media House to be in a, a Royal Area on the, on the 12th for the opening ceremony, and the 17th is a closing ceremony. So with that, I should have shared enough. Um, maybe just to add on what we'll be doing, we intend to have around 18 brilliant students from other, from our 10 regions, 36 from primary, six from JC and six from uh, BGSE uh, across the country. So we expect each region to give us 18 brilliant students. Uh, them, they are going to be doing the quizzes <coughs> and the mass collab on their sides, and they're going to be competing uh, per region. So we want to give them opportunities also for them to be um, maybe picked by the scouts and uh, make up a number of 30. So uh, we are praying that they even be success so that we give about 180 student kids the equal chance. So imagine having around uh, uh, around 500 kids and maths kids in one place. It's not common to find mathematicians just gathering in one place in such a large number. So it, this is just a blessing to our country. And then on top of that, we intend to have a workshop uh, where you now want to transform from OBE to STEAM in mathematics. So we'll be having around 34 students senior secondary school teachers, the senior Shawan, will be sharing with them the idea on how to approach mathematics using the STEAM approach. 
So we have invited uh, some lecturers from university who are dealing with STEAM, and we have uh, visitors from USA who are doing the program, and the program has started bearing fruit with them, so we wanted them to come and share with us how do they manage so that we can achieve that. If that can happen, and then the teachers can see how best to approach the uh, mathematics in that concept, we are going to share the, the, the process to other subjects too. We, we won't say this for math alone, but we share for the benefit of the country. And yes, scholarships from Rwanda, Harvard, and even Brown University are up for grabs. Major players like Gen Street's UK Global Talent USA and New Era College are backing the event, and hotels like Royal Aria and Cresta Lodge are making sure our guests get the royal treatment. As Botswana gears up to pass the torch to Ivory Coast in 2026, this year's Olympiad isn't just about medals, it's about legacy leadership and honestly, African excellence. Participants say they've been grinding hard for this, and honestly, you can feel the excitement. All right, so with me here, I've got uh, Ofense. Ofense is one of the, the brilliant minds that we also have here again in Botswana. He has been to the International Mathematics Olympians, and um, so he's here with us today. So let's hear what he's got to say. Hello. You have to, you have to be different. You have to see, see things from other perspectives that other people don't see. Yeah. You need to be able to get something out of a question that no one else can think of. Okay. Hello, my name is Prince Muzoiso. I am a former A-level student from Maruakula School. So I recently completed my A-levels this year in June. And I am a former BGCSE top achiever in the year 2022. So I've been competing in Met Olympiads since, since I was in Form 2. So this year we'll be competing in the PAMO 2025. And from this Olympiad, I hope to um, achieve a good mark for my team to represent Botswana well and also to carry Botswana to victory. Help. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is Gaone, aka K1. Um, she was my student at Maranjinia Secondary School. And we went to Palmo, South Africa, last year. And. Um, she took part and it was her first time on a plane yay we went on the plane <laughs> so she can tell us about the, the experience okay my name is Zalba Rosini um, I'm 16 years old and I go to the university of secondary school my name is Alicia my name is Zalka Onesini I'm 16 years old and I go to the senior secondary school um, my experience about the contest, it was, it didn't go well because it was my first time and I didn't expect much, but I'm so excited about this um, contest. Do you think events like PAMO can help revolutionize education across Africa? Should more countries adopt STEAM teaching in schools? Let us know in the comments. We're listening. If this story inspired you, Hit like, subscribe, and share it with your fellow math lovers. Don't forget to click that bell so you never miss a snap flash drop. From chalkboards to championships, Botswana is showing that math isn't just a subject, it's a movement. PAMO 2025 is proof that Africa's future is not just bright, it's brilliant. Thanks for watching Snap Flash, where Africa's story adds up. Hey, so Snap Flash is now available in nine languages on YouTube. English, French, Hindi, Indonesian, Portuguese, German, Japanese, Spanish, and Italian. All you have to do is go to settings, select the audio track, and pick the language of your choice. Be the first to stay informed with Snapflash.